I was shocked when when I found out that I was fired. Lori Mazurkowitz used to work at Northwestern Memorial Hospital in Chicago, but she says she was fired March 19th. I honestly thought my manager would say, oh, you know, that's really good that you want to keep your patients safe and you want your coworkers to be safe. And I really thought that it would be a positive thing. I was not expecting it to get fired over it. Mazurkowitz filed a lawsuit against her former employer. She says she was let go after warning co-workers in an email equipment the hospital had provided would not protect them from the coronavirus. As a nurse, we vowed to do no harm. And so because this virus was new and I had suspicion it was airborne, I just wanted to educate people and I wanted to, I, I didn't want us to spread the virus. I didn't want other people to contract it and get sick. Um, I didn't want other nurses to um, get infected and then bring it home to their families. I was very concerned. In an email to Chicago news outlets, a hospital spokesman said, quote, we take these matters seriously and we are currently reviewing the complaint. At this time, we will not be commenting further. Situations like this are popping up all across the country. To date, more than a thousand nurses have shared their experience working during the pandemic in private documents, according to a New York Times report. Others have taken a more public approach. In Detroit, Kanisa Barkai says while working in one of the worst hit hospitals, she was fired for posting a video on social media. My mask, my gown. Newsy reached out to Detroit Medical Center Sinai Grace about the incident. It responded with, quote, we don't discuss matters related to personnel or share information related to our internal policies. As for Mazurkowitz, she says she's using her time to advocate for any nurse too afraid to speak out. What I want nurses to know is they need to be safe. They need to, to protect themselves and others. And we need to stand up for ourselves. Therese Garnier, Newsy, Washington.